Yo, what's up? My mullet sharp here, and I'm bringing you guys a new type of thing right here, and it's gonna be called climb the ladder, uh, and it's gonna be kind of like a road to commander thing, except for these are not gonna be live commentaries. And I think I, I'm not sure if I want to do the, my my Black Ops Road to Commander anymore, just because I think I'm, I'm starting to put up too much public match gameplay on my channel uh, with me not playing this game competitively anymore. I, I kind of quit, or not really quit, but I've started to upload a lot more. Of just public match, you know, I got like my Moab challenge, I had Road to Commander, and then I had Amateur Breakdown, which was competitive, but it wasn't my gameplay. And really the only competitive stuff that I was uploading was uh, the occasional Search and Destroy match, and then the the Pro Tip Series. So, I kind of want to do this because we we made a GB team, and it's not like, it's not like a real team or anything, it's not like we're going to play in any tournaments or anything, but we, we just made a GB team just to pretty much have fun, and then... I was like, well, you know what, this will be a good way for me to get gameplays and do some commentaries for you guys and do some breakdowns. And so, what I'm going to call it is, and there's my phone ringing. Like an, what is it ringing like that for? Uh, so, basically, it's going to be Climb the Ladder, that's what I'm going to call the series. And it's just going to, I just want to see how far how far up on the ladder we can get, you know. Basically, the goal is to try to get to first page. Uh, I mean, the goal is to try to get to um, first place, but... Uh, we're just going to try to get on first page and just play as GB and see where our record takes us. And I will post one gameplay from every match. We, we play best of threes. We either play S&D only or um, MLG, pretty much whatever's up. It's either MLG variant, S&D only, or uh, GB, S&D. So pretty much you're going to be seeing just the MLG maps. And I'm going to be posting one map from every best of three. So right now, I believe we are 5-0, and oh, so I have five gameplays for you guys already, so it's already five episodes for the series, and what I, pretty much I can do anything in this. I, I'm going to try to, you know, obviously I'll do breakdowns and like explain what I'm doing as soon as I get done uh, introducing the series right here in this commentary. This is going to be more of an intro episode than anything. So really, I mean, we'll, we'll play against good teams. We probably won't go like 100-0. Uh, just because, you know, like I said, we're not like a real team. We're not practicing all the time. We're not playing all the time. We're just, whenever we play, we're just playing GBs. And there are really good teams that play on game battles that uh, they do practice all the time. And they, they take it 100% serious and all that stuff. So I will definitely um, let you guys know what the record is. And I'm just going to give the little disclaimer that we probably won't go 100 though, But we will try to get to first page and uh, try to not disband. And... If you guys want to, if you guys ever want to watch these matches live, I, I live stream all of them. Uh, I usually post up a little video on my channel saying that I'm live streaming. So check that out when, whenever I post that up. Uh, but let's do a little bit of a breakdown. So we're down 0-1 right now, and this is the this is the first side, and we're actually playing against some guys. I, I believe they were Rainbow Six pros uh, back when Rainbow was on the circuit. That was a long time ago. So these guys have been playing Call of Duty for the past years, and now. Uh, we're taking the flag through the middle, and what I'm doing right here is I'm getting the cut off its tree. I'm making sure there's no one in our flag, making sure there's no one in our spawn. And, you know, I saw the guy spawn at our well, so I knew there's no one back there. And then my teammate called out he was getting stunned from the back, so that's why I turned around to get his back, and now we get the cap, and now we're tied 1-1. And now we have three down. So when we have three down, we need to be pushing up. We need to get map control. Uh, and we, they're going to be forcing the back left spawn, because you see on the mini map, my teammates are on the right. And somehow I didn't see that guy on my screen, and then I jump out and try to challenge it and uh, destroy him. Probably shouldn't have challenged that, but it worked out for me. Uh, and then this guy throws a really good nade through the through the little doorway right there. I thought the nade was on the outside of the wall. That's why I didn't try to run away. But uh, pretty good nade on his part. So now we are on the bad side. And the reason why this is the bad side is because you can grab the flag straight through the middle alley without pretty, pretty much without being shot. And then if you get stunned, you're not going to be stunned that long. So we get three down, and we have the flag. And, and now we're running, and... Where they're gonna spawn? We have two. We have someone on the right side of the street, and I'm more on the left side. So they're either gonna spawn their back right well, or they're gonna be spawning in that left corner over by the carpets. Uh, I, I like to call it Aladdin's magic carpets because there's like carpets hanging on the wall. But uh, you saw they spawn right on the middle of the flag because we we're kind of pushing both the spawns. Their main spawns on this map are gonna be uh, street, back right street, or back left corner by the carpets. Uh, most people don't really know there's carpets back there, but uh, you can go look. I'm not lying. So. Um, Right now, you know, there's 16 seconds. We're up by two, or up by one. I mean, my bad. Up by one, and they can't really, they're not going to really get a flag. So, uh, this is just the time where you run out and try to get a kill, or you get killed, and uh, it's just whatever. A little dead time, little little period where you do something stupid, 
And you see right there, we're going to go up on this side uh, by one, ending at score 2 1. So now we have the good side. This is the side where you can get all your pulls. And that was an interesting day. I think it. It landed on top of the on top of the thing and actually killed him. Uh, so on this side, you want to push through the middle. You want to try to get in the middle alley. You don't want to you don't want to go street. You want them to spawn. You want them to spawn street because they're gonna spawn over here in this little red house. You don't want to like try to push all the way up street and take control of the red house because you want them to spawn there and then you can cut that off from middle plat or something like that. So now you see, I believe we have three down and uh, we have someone pushing other middle alley and I'm gonna push up street here. And Hopefully I cut right here. Yeah, cut in the middle. Cut in the little right alley and kill this guy, help my teammate. And now I'm going to go around because they're calling out people at like, well. And I'm going to try to flank my well. And, and I know I said don't push the red building, but don't push the red building when they have to spawn there. So he's, I kill that guy and I get away and I pull the flag. Now we have people over at Castle and I can pull it up top here if I don't get blocked by my teammate. And unfortunately there was a guy waiting for me up top. Uh, it's not like he spawned over there. He was just one of the guys that got out at the beginning that we never killed. And that's something you got to watch out. you got to make sure that you're paying attention to who on the team is not dead uh, and who's going to be alive just waiting and stalking your spawn. So now we have the flag mid-map, and we're trying to keep it there. It's going to be a hard place to keep it because they can just jump down and return it. And I was going to try to not fight that and turn around and kill the flag on street. Most of the time, teams are going to pull the flag. Uh, streets are actually juked around and went the other way. Um, but, yeah, most of the time, people are going to pull the flag street side because... Uh, that, that's going to be where their main spawn is, and if they can get someone up in red building and they pull street, then they're going to be. It's going to be an easy flag for them to defend. If their guy dies, it's going to be an easy flag for them to cut off. Uh, anyone coming behind them, if they have an ACR up in that building, they're hard to kill. So you see, I'm pushing this right side castle. We got to try to kill them in their middle alley, and then kill them behind their well, and then we should have a pretty easy, easy pull. But this guy's behind the well. I come behind him, kill him, and then you see the guy. He just does a quick grab through the middle. But uh, he gets killed by the guy in the middle. So now I'm going to pull the flag. And I don't know if I missed my teammate. That's, that's the thing I hate about getting stunned is uh, you don't know if the, the people in this game look very similar. I, I want to go back to like MW2 and Call of Duty 4. You, know, you had like the, the people that were wearing, wore the turbans. And then you had the, the, you know, the Navy SEALs or the U.S. Marines. Uh, and now everyone just kind of looks the same to me. Uh, everyone's usually wearing the little black outfit. And it just gets kind of confused, especially when you're stunned and it's like flashing, it's hard to tell. So um, a lot of the times I get killed on that or I kill my teammates. So I'm going to run this cabin right here. And now that puts us up two flags with two minutes and 38 seconds. And that's going to be good for us because uh, we're on the good side. They need to pull flags. If necessary, we could play defense, but we're not because we're not like that. We're not bitches. So I'm going to push up this left side again and then try to cut through their middle alley. And you see a guy in our mid in their middle, you know, fearless gets that flag pull. It's just such an easy pull, uh, and this is the reason why you want them to spawn cast. I mean, uh, spawn up in the red building because they can get that castle spawn. It's really hard to kill people up there. Uh, luckily, we have a guy. We have Di uh, diabolic with his ACR picking the guy up top and then getting that shot with the PP90 somehow. And wherever we'll put that flag in, that puts us up three with two minutes. So that's pretty much going to secure the game for us. Uh, if you are up three flags and there's you know, under three minutes left. Even getting a flag a minute is hard. If you let someone get that many flags in two minutes, then you just you deserve to lose. So you see, I pick up the two piece here, trying to stop this flag, and then the flag indicator kind of tricked me out. I didn't think he crossed the street already, but he did. He got up in the red building, and you see that guy spawned up there in red building. He could have been a good help for his teammate, but uh, I get the shot off on him. And now they're going to be spawning castle side, so we need to watch for that. So I'm not even paying attention to the flag guy. I'm just kind of laying right here, you know. Hopefully he'll jump down in front of me, and then people coming from ca uh, the castle side won't see me, like this guy behind the well, and I pick him off. And now they're pulling our flag. Some of them just ran to our spawn off castle. They're like, all right, we're not going to get this. We need to get another pool. Uh, but, you know, really, they couldn't really do anything in that situation. Now we're down to a minute, and we're up by three. And it's pretty much impossible for them to even win uh, to run flags that fast. It takes, I want to say it takes like a good 20 seconds to run a flag across the map. And then on top of that, you have to kill everyone, not get stunned. Uh, they just have to be perfect runs across the map. And uh, with there being 50 seconds, I don't see it happening. So they capped the flag right there. Now we're up by two. And, you know, like I said, 20 seconds, they would have to grab the flag right now. That's why I just threw a stun on the flag. Uh, and I kill him, throw some stuns, throw some nades. Almost kill this guy behind me. Actually, I think I do kill him. Yeah, I do kill the guy behind me. Do get Dookie Don, whip out the Clint Eastwood, hit him with the Clint. The big old Clint Eastwood. And then now, 25 seconds, I'm just going to run around with a pistol, try to hit him with a Clint. Because, uh, you know, 
I know machine pistols are loud, and then my screen goes dark because theater mode sucks. But uh, I know machine pistols are loud, but you got to run around with the Clint. You know, the Clint Eastwood. Hit them with the Clint. And it's gonna be it's gonna secure the win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys liked this series. Uh, I saw a lot of people complaining in the comments that you weren't getting enough competitive gameplay. And I hope this this thrives your competitive drive for my gameplay. I don't, I don't even know why I just rhymed that there. Thrive for drive. Uh, but uh, this is Sharp. If you guys like this series, don't forget to drop a like on it. And this is Sharp. I'm out. Peace. Mullet.